Welcome, amazing one. And let's solve this beautiful equation. It's so easy, right? And this is what you call your cubic equation. I'm going to tell you why. This is because you observe that the highest power of t is 3. And what it means is that you are expected to get three solutions of t at the end of your solving. Join me as I teach you how to do that. It's just so easy. So you are going to begin with your solution. So this is what we have. t to the power of t minus t to the power of 3 is equal to 12. Now what we do here is we are going to rewrite this 12 to suit what we have here. Now we know too well that 12 is the same thing as this 12 is the same as 4 add 8. Why did we choose this? We know too well that 4 is a perfect square, just like what we have here, and 8 is a perfect cube. 4 is the same as 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. Did you see that? Then 8 is also the same as 2 multiplied 3 times, which gives you 2 cubed. So in that case, just to see what we have here, 12 is the same as this. So we are going to have it as t squared minus t cubed is equal to, we are going to replace this with this. So we're having 4 add 8. So we are going to also have t squared minus t cubed is 4, as we have seen, is 2 squared plus this is the same as 2 cubed. Keep solving t squared minus t cubed. Remember, this is positive. So we are going to subtract this from both sides so as to move it to the left side. So if you subtract here, you get negative 2 squared. Subtract this, you also have negative 2 cubed is equal to, when you must have done it, the right side is equal to 0. So we are going to collect the ones of the same powers together. So we have t squared minus 2 squared minus t cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0. So what do you do? These two are together as well as these two. So this is giving us t squared minus 2 squared. Now for this, we are going to factor negative sign out. So if you factor, you are left with t cubed. If you use this to divide this, you have positive 2 cubed and is equal to 0. Now, what do you do at this point? Just remember for every a squared minus b squared, it is a plus b into a minus b. And for every a cubed plus b cubed, it is a plus b into a squared minus ab plus b squared. So this is what we have here. We are going to apply these algebraic identities on these two to help us to solve. So if you do that, you have for this, apply this, you are going to have t add 2 and t subtract 2. Then bring down this subtraction sign. For this, apply this. So we are having t add 2 into, we are going to have t squared minus multiply these two. So you have, let's bring it down. So we have, let's bring this whole down. So this is what we have, t squared minus t multiplies by 2 plus 2 squared. And everything is equal to 0. Keep solving. And for you to have watched through this point, it shows what you do interesting. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Help us to share this so that algorithm send it to more people that need this skill. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. And if you are a returning viewer, Thank you for choosing to learn to us. Let's keep doing this together to have. So we now have t add 2 into t minus 2 minus. So for this, we have t add 2 into t squared. Multiply this, you have 2t plus 2 squared. You give us 2 times 2 as 4 and is equal to 0. Remember that these two are together, likewise this. Did you observe anything? You observe that t plus 2 is repeated. So factor it out. So we're going to have t plus 2. Open a big bracket. Use this to divide these two. You'll be left with t minus 2. Now, use this to divide these two. You'll be left with this. So we're having, we bring that, remember that subtraction sign here. So when this divides this, you'll be left with this. So we have t squared minus 2t. Let's adjust the board. 
So this is what we have plus four. Close the big brackets and everything is equal to zero. Keep solving. So this gives us t plus two into we have t minus two. So to open up this bracket, remember there is subtraction sign here. So to open it up, it's just like using negative one to multiply. So it's just like having negative one into t squared minus t t plus four, and everything is equal to zero. So we are going to have t add two into, so we have t minus two. Use this to open up the bracket. So if you do that, this multiplies, we have negative t squared. This will make this to be positive 2t, and this will be negative 4, and is equal to 0. So we are having t add 2 into, this will give us, this is 1t as you know, add it to this, it gives you 3t minus t squared, add this and this, it gives you negative 6. So we have negative 6 is equal to 0. So this is the same as t add 2 into the one with the highest power. So we have negative 2 squared plus 3t minus 6 is equal to 0. Now remember, if a, b is equal to 0, either a is 0 or b is 0. So we apply it here. So we now have t plus 2 is equal to 0. To get t, subtract 2 from both sides, and this goes off. So we are going to have t will give us, add this, it gives us negative 2. And this gives us the first value of t. Now let's solve for this second equation to have. For the second one, we have negative t squared plus 3t minus 6 is equal to 0. This is your quadratic equation, but we don't want to work with negative sign. So we are going to divide or multiply each part. So we multiply each part by negative one. So if you do that, we have, if you multiply this by negative, it gives you a positive. Multiply this, it gives you negative 30. This will give us positive six is equal to zero. So using your formula, T will give us negative B plus or minus B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. So we are going to apply this formula here to help us to solve. And remember that your A is the coefficient of your T squared, which is 1. B is the coefficient of T, negative 3. And C is the, is the constant, which is 6. So plug this here. We now have T is equal to negative of our b is negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared minus 4. Our a is 1 multiplied by 6 is equal to 2 times 1. So we have t is multiplied this, you have 3 plus or minus. This will give us 9. If you multiply this, you have negative 24 and is divided by 2. So we now have t is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of, subtract this we have, negative 15, and is divided by 2. So keep simplifying. This is the same as t is 3 plus or minus. This can be written as root of negative 1 multiplied by 15 is divided by 2. Keep solving. Remember also for every root A multiplied by B is root A multiplied by root B. So if you apply it here, we have T is equal to 3 plus or minus root of negative 1 multiplied by root 15 divided by 2. Now remember that whenever you have square root of negative 1, we use an imaginary unit I. So it means that T is 3 plus or minus so we have, this is the same as i root 15. 15 is a prime sword. It can be reduced. So we're going to leave it this way and we divide this by 2. Keep simplifying. So we have it that, remember that this becomes the second and third value of t. So let's bring all the values of t together. 
the first value of t we got is negative 2. The second value of t is 3 plus i root 15 divided by 2. And then the third value of t is 3, then minus i root 15 divided by 2. So these are the three values of t. This is the real solution. It can be found on a number line. And these two are the complex. It can be shown in the Agam diagram. And because it also contains the real and the imaginary part, we call them the complex. And I hope you really learned something. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share. Thank you for choosing to learn And I'll also be curious to see your own method. See you in my next class. Bye.